Hallelujah, family. God bless you. You are welcome to prophetic intercession. With a male, always a privilege. Each time the Lord lays a prophetic message in my spirit, and I have to relay it. I always feel excited because I know it's a word in season for someone, and it's about to, you know, transform their life. God is about to minister to them directly. Hallelujah. So if this is the first time you are coming across my channel, God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by. May the Lord use this channel to minister to you prophetically, tell you the mind of God, and help you know God for yourself in Jesus mighty name amen hallelujah someone is in shock they are wondering how you found out about about that thing they thought it was a huge secret they are in shock they don't know they look at you and they see you like a mystery man a mystery woman because of how you were able to decode the truth the truth they are asking themselves how were you able to do this when the Lord dropped this word in my spirit, what came to my mind was the story of Daniel. You, you know why they were in Babylon? The king had a dream and he called all the wise men to come and interpret the dream. And none of them was able to get the interpretation. The king was so furious that he ordered the execution of the wise men. And when it got to the knowledge of Daniel, he asked the person that was sent to execute them. He said, what is going on? What is happening here? And he was told about the matter and he said, it's okay, please. Why is the king so harsh? Why is he so much in a haste to execute these people? Take me to the king. I can do that. I don't know. You know, it has not been recorded if Daniel had ever done that before. It has not been recorded. That is the first time we actually see Daniel doing, pulling out such a stunt. And so Daniel goes to the king and tells the king, please give me this time and I'm going to interpret to you um what your dream is daniel chapter 2 and verse 19 says then the secret so daniel went to pray he went to seek the face of the lord then the secret was revealed to daniel in a vision of the night and daniel blessed the god of heaven verse 22 says it is he who reveals the profound and hidden things he knows what is in the darkness and the light dwells with him he is talking about god being the revealer of all secret when daniel came to the king he did not just tell the king the interpretation of his dream he told the king what he dreamt about and now gave an interpretation i can imagine the king being in a position of or because the people that were considered to be the wise men of the land they were not able to give an interpretation they were not able to say what it was all about and daniel who was disregarded he was not considered as a matter of fact daniel was not even eligible to um you know to answer the king he was not even considered as someone that could do anything but god and the bible says i love daniel he says that Give me this time and I'll bring you the interpretation of your dream. The Bible says that they that know their God shall be strong and they will do exploit. This was an act of exploit. This, what Daniel did was an evidence of those who know their God. He knew that God is the revealer of secrets and God will definitely reveal this to him. And whatever you want to know, I have tasted that in time past. If there is something pressing in your spirit you want to know, you just have to ask God. He will find a way to show you. He is the revealer of secrets and nothing escapes him. Uh, um, uh, Daniel speaking, he says, he, 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 even, in the, even the darkest of secrets, even in deep darkness, he knows what is in deep darkness. We cannot see it, but God sees it and he's going to reveal it to you if you position yourself and you ask him in faith in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you, keep your cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. Please become a part of our channel. Subscribe if you've not done that already. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.